Hey, what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at using actions in Photoshop. Now, an action in Photoshop is kind of applying a set of commands or actions that you take and then saving them and replicating them again whenever you need to. So you can access the actions palette if you go up to window at the top then down to actions and it should appear on the right hand side. Now by default there's only one or two here uh, listed but I've obviously added lots and lots of custom ones that I'm going to talk about in future videos. But for now what we're going to do is we're just going to go and create a new action set by clicking on the folder icon and we can call it what we like. So we'll call it this is my first action. Then click OK. And then within this folder you can create any number of actions. So you can create actions within a folder, but then each action can have hundreds of steps if you like. It can have as many steps as you like. So, for example, I've got a photo here. I don't know why or what that is on our faces. I honestly can't remember for the life of me. But we have our photo, and say I wanted to make it black and white. So now I could go and click this button down here, the new one, and our first action would be black and white. And it's going to be within the set. This is my first action. You can specify a function key and you can give it a color if you like, but that's fine. So once I click record, it will then start recording the actions I take in Photoshop. Not in real time, so if I had a pause while I was talking to you for 10 seconds, it wouldn't record that pause, it would just record the actions that I take and the order that I take them. So then when I click play in future, it will just systematically work through each step to complete the whole action. So if I click record now, you'll see that it's recording in the bottom right corner here, and I can stop it with that stop button just next door. So now it's recording. So I'm going to go up to image, adjustments, and down to hue and saturation, and I'm going to make it black and white to take the saturation all the way down. Now that's all I want to do for this image, so I can click stop, and there we go, that's saved. So you can see under the folder, this is my first action, we've got the action set, no, we've got, we, sorry, this is the action set here, we've then got the action itself, and then underneath we would have all the different steps involved within the action. So I just changed the hue and saturation to make it black and white, but you might have, say, 100, 200, 50 different actions there that are all part of that black and white action. So we can go and add another one. So if I make this photo 100%, just go up to view and 100% here. No, that's not quite right. There we go. So this is the actual size of the photo, um, and it's too big. So if you had, say, a large batch of photos that you wanted to resize all of them uh, to upload to Facebook or something, you might want to make them all 50% smaller, just so they're not as, as big file size-wise to upload, or just because you like the, the smaller photo. Um, so what you can do is we can create another action. So just click that new button, and we're going to call this resize. And we're going to make all the photos, for this example, 50% smaller. So I'll just give it that name. Right, it's recording. So now I can go up to image, image size. Make sure the height and the width are locked here, so they're scaled proportionally. So if I take the percent of the width down from 100 to 50, you'll see that the height proportionally adjusts to that as well. So I can click OK. OK, great. You can see it's added it in the palette here, and then I can stop. So now it's saved this action. So what I can do now is go all the way back to the beginning. It still remembers that we've created this, this action set here, and you could load up any number of photos now, and you can go in, and you could just click on black and white, hit play, and it will perform the actions within this. Then you can go to resize, click play, and it will resize. So having these as two separate actions is just a good way to perform one part and then the other. You could have that all in one action if you like. So you could just call it everything and then have the black and white, the resize, adding other adjustment layers, changing color, 
any manner of things that you want and it will then apply it to that photo or image instantly. So that was a quick introduction to actions in Adobe Photoshop. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, share and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Take care.